third gear is perfect for these little mountain roads. Welcome back to more K cars. Today we've got the Daihatsu Mira Avanzado. It's the TRXX, it's the turbo. This thing is such a hot little hatch. 63 horsepower from a 659 cc four cylinder kind of odd for the k cars to have a four cylinder instead of a three but yeah this one definitely feels more advanced when we take it out and drive it you're going to go nuts for the way it sounds and it has way more torque than you'd think it's front wheel drive so it torques steers quite a bit this particular car seems to have probably been an autocross racer in its past life it feels like it has a welded front diff or something going on inside standard k-car fare it's like they make the most of the space they have you could fit four people in here and you could do it relatively comfortably it's got a five-speed manual transmission there's a couple little fake outs here the first that is not an engine start button you do start it on the key and then here it is a five speed so this would indicate that it's a four it's a five thank god because it doesn't have a very tall fifth gear to begin with under the hood, we've got this great little inner cooler, a cute little intake. I mean, honestly, it's kind of fun to look under these things because it's just making the most of what it can. All the other K cars I've driven are three cylinder, 12 valves. This is a twin cam, 16 valve, four cylinder. Oh, and it makes turbo sounds. Like if you like Supras, you're gonna love this thing. And a great indication that you're driving a very small car is that you only have a single wiper fluid nozzle. So thanks again to Ransom Garage out here in Western Mass for uh, setting me up in this little guy. Let's go take it for a drive because that's really what these are all about. We've got the little Daihatsu key. Already warmed up. Revs to close to 9,000 if not, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's incredible when the turbo kicks in. That's the most fun thing about this car luxurious power windows. Hear that? Oh my goodness. This one has like a brand new clutch. It's pretty apparent because it's very sharp, very sticky, very tactile. So the Mira is the base of the car. That's what all the normal Miras were, or Daihatsu Miras were. This is the Avanzado, so we've got this turbo that turns it up to 63 horsepower. And honestly, it feels like it possibly could be more, but uh, I mean, I don't know that my butt dyno is calibrated that low. But it is quick. And not just quick for K-car standards. Like this is actually like a quick little car. It's, it's, it's doing the thing. This is a little hot hatch. This is the GTI of the K-car world. In comparison to the Honda Acti, I would say that this is a little trickier to drive. Just because of the shifter. But we've got power that we didn't have in the Acti. But it's funny when you've got torque steer in this little car. It sounds fantastic. It's very racy. keeps revving like I, I can't believe how much it revs this is like actually fast like this is like fast enough to get you into trouble little chipmunk wow we're on 155, 65, R13, just little guys, and this thing scoots right along. You feel everything. I mean, obviously, there's not much to it. I didn't expect to have a feeling in a K car like I could go too fast. This, this could definitely go too fast. It's a little racer. <laughs> I 
A very, very tactile grabby clutch, that's for certain. Want to be careful over some of these crests too, if it gets a little light. I don't think I have a whole lot of rubber to keep me on the ground. It's funny, you're revving it down at like 5,000 RPM on the downhill and it still has so much to go. I'm just choosing my battles here. There's a little bit of torque steer in it, that's for sure. You know, it's weird because this car was, I think, in Gran Turismo as like, oh, the entry level car. Like, this is what you would have to drive. Maybe you had like a choice of three or four other cars, but like, this is what you had to drive in Gran Turismo when you started off because you didn't have enough money and all you wanted to do was not drive it. You wanted to get like a faster car. You wanted the, you wanted like the, the 3000 GT. See, there's that front diff making some noise. You wanted those faster cars. The reality is this thing is absolutely outrageous. See, I was nice and I went through the entrance and he went into the exit. This is what happens. You follow directions and you lose. Great sounds. If it's in the name of performance, I'm okay with it. Third gear is perfect for these little mountain roads. You just can't believe you're doing this. This is like an S2000 in a K car. Do you need to be careful? I don't want to hit anybody. We will die. God, I love a high revving turbo engine. It just feels so naughty. Race car. I can't believe this thing. <laughs> It'll be a little gentle. I'm not sure what this feels like on like lift off oversteer. I'm not sure I want to know what this kind of wheelbase is like to recover from in a little slide, but my goodness, is it fun! Unlike the 38 horsepower Acti, you go up a hill in this and you can put your foot in it, you feel it hit boost, and then it just climbs and climbs and climbs. Which seems to uh, probably make a lot more sense for Japanese roads, seeing as uh, Japan is pretty mountainous. Um, I mean, imagine being in Colorado in an underpowered, naturally aspirated engine. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna have a good time. Is that a road? Oh my goodness, this is a racetrack out here. This is the hot hatch of my dreams. Steering is just so accurate. You can place this so easily. I don't know what's going on here. I think this is probably where we should turn around. He's on a bike. I'm having like just as much fun in this. I need a K car in my life. This is how you enjoy little back roads, man. This is fantastic. is so quick and accurate I just it is I'm in love if you don't love K cars you don't love cars on the straights I have to just back off I'll get myself in trouble I'll be going way too fast the way this thing pulls itself out of a corner too is just outrageous you do need to be aware because it's little I mean a, a normal size bump mid corner is going to have an influence on this car in a way that maybe you don't want it to Forget motorcycles, man. K cars, high revving K cars. She get in tune with this thing. It is just a delight.
<laughs> the turbo sounds in this thing are absolutely the stuff of dreams. I wasn't expecting this to be as much fun. How to compare this to the AZ-1? I mean, the AZ-1 is a little crazy because you've got the gullwing doors. This is a little more normal. This feels like driving the best GTI ever. You know, it's funny when you go from like a Rabbit or an old GTI, you think, oh, that's a fun little car. It feels like a fun little playful car. It's like, no, there's another step beyond that. And it's this. Man, this is fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I think I'm completely smitten with K-Cars. This is like the legitimate raw driving experience I forgot about. Oh my goodness, what a thing. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for your one, five, $15 a month donations. You are making this channel possible. Don't forget to respect the drive and I'll see you in the next one.